Ian Parallax here, happy weekend, and I can honestly say that I am so excited. These are the events that I look forward into in Idol Heroes. Profit Orb, Heroic Miracle, Grey Doors. It basically means we're going to go through our bags, clean out our heroes, make tons of fusion material, awaken our team, lots of decision making, where we want to put those heroes, what do we want to do. So all of that all culminates just in a short period of time where the decisions you make, you can act on them right now. And that's what we're going to do. So if you want to see some action, stick around. Alright everyone, since this is such a large event and there's so much to do, Prophet Summons, Heroic Miracles, we're going to kind of take it how we usually have done and start with Heroic Miracle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go summon almost all my 5 stars basically that we have um, and we are going to complete out the Heroic Miracle event. Then from there we might do a few other things before swapping over and doing some creation circle. So let's just go take a look at our bag situation right now. We have about, what is that, 8, so 8, 10, uh, 12, 13. We have 13 just random 5 stars between, not completely random, but we got a good bit of 5 stars. Um, so let's just see, we're just going to go for it. So I'm an 8, and that looks like a really good spread. Um, very good mix. I like that. We should definitely... The bod. Oh my goodness. The bod is real. Alrighty. So one more right here. Faceless. Let's see. We'll just summon this just to see. Oh, what's this? Warrior. Hmm. Nail of Destiny. Not what I wanted, but that's okay. Alrighty. So let's go take a look. I am so pumped, guys. Guys and girls. I am extremely excited and ready to make some huge progress hopefully we get an e3 kb and i don't really even know what my plan is from there if i want to try to push for a, a asmo 10 star or sig um i, I don't know what we're gonna do uh or or try to get shia i don't know at all i don't have any clue yet so we're gonna have to do some thinking but i think we already yeah we already that was perfect we already, just with those five stars right there, were able to um, complete everything but too light and too dark. So with the current situation, I think I'm going to, for bag sake, bag space sake. That's a tongue twister in and of itself. We're going to go forward and one, two, three, four, and clear some of, uh, we're going to do some summons here. I love what they did. All you got to do, boom, they're already there waiting for you. All you have to do is select the fodder that you want. So let's see, what do we want? We do want this guy. And then we got, we'll get one, two, one, two, three, four. Boom, four, four, four. I kind of want to do one more. I think I'm going to. Let's see, we have, I think we have enough to, yeah, we'll do one more. Let's take a quick look at our bags. Is there any, I mean, we got the Aspen, we got the Dark Arithendol. Nothing really that I'm like super concerned about um, summoning right this second. So we're just going to go ahead. I'm not too, too, too worried about um, running out of light and dark heroes to go and summon. So we're going to just clear out the bags just a little bit more we might be able to do it one more time after this i think i just need to summon yet one more um we're just, i'm just clearing bag space out right right so i'm not trying to do anything too crazy we'll summon one because we have a bunch of these bad boys so get a dark spirit we're going and i don't really need dark fodder as much right now um, but it's, it's good to get bag space clear. We'll go ahead and, whoa, can make a lot of six stars there. So we'll do that. We're going to leave it at the six star. I don't know what I want to progress yet. So as you can see, nothing here to, uh, um, to create. So we might, oh, thank goodness. So I think for this one, 
I am going to summon two fodder heroes. So that should put us pretty well on track. Um, and that already, already, there's another copy of KB. Um, as you know, last video or one not too recently ago or too far away, we were able to do the the profit blessing replacement and get KB. So we really don't need any more copies of him. But I'll always take KB's a solid, solid hero, so solid reward. Uh, for I'm sure someone needs him. So it's always good when they have. I like when they have pretty, pretty good heroes as rewards. It's always nice to to get see not just the typical fodder heroes or low tier heroes. So we got good bit of Asmodals, not too many um, light. So I don't know if we're gonna do Bell Rain or if we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do Asmodal, um, but we'll see. What does his I needed to check. Did I? Can't remember if I gave KB. No, I didn't. Did I? I don't think I did. Yeah, no gear. So we are going to. We are all done um, when it comes to summoning five stars at least. So we already, with not too much of a problem, have fully completed Heroic Miracle. Already, boom! Event complete. Done. Got nice profit orbs, a few more sets of gear and a KB copy so that was easy and now let's go through I can't resist I love I know it costs gems and gold but I am going to go through and we are going to get more sets of gear that you can't beat um, a deal where you just need one of each piece my favorite time I think we are finally gonna get my favorite graphical um, I guess favorite graphics of the class gear. Of all of them, my favorite is definitely the warrior, mainly just because that sword, armor, boots, all of it looks so cool. All of them look really cool. Um, and I think my mage is also one that, they all look cool, but I think warrior uh, and mage look just, oh, they look so, so good, so good. But we're going to get, because we want KB to be suited up and ready to go, we are now going to also get, with another favorite event, Graydor's Blessing. Get me more top tier gear. So we are now going to go on and say goodbye to auto equip. Bo -bo Boom. I don't reduce damage. I wish, man, I think that is going to be, what did I have on him before? Yeah, this is going to be, we're going to go, while we're at it, it's still better, we're going to go up and level this artifact. So, let's see. That would be nice if I could, is it going to put all that I have? Alrighty, yeah. I wish it could just like auto-fill from like lowest to highest. That would be a good feature. Because I don't, I mean, now this doesn't, I actually don't like this change as much. Because I don't care what I'm, the, about the stats that I'm throwing into this thing I just care how much it's let's see does it see it still lets me go over like uh, that's kind of this actually makes it a little more difficult because I don't feel like doing math can I do it in sections can I increase nope man so that's a little bit of a bummer they need to have like auto artifact um input because this actually makes it more difficult because I don't know when to stop whatever so we'll just maybe add more so 28 I don't even know okay that's not too bad a little bit better but still like I don't like this change as much I will go be be open about that I, they, they just need auto I mean I don't know about you guys but I don't care about these low-level artifacts just auto fill so I don't get a bunch of magic dust extra like I don't care what you have to put in there just don't don't bring this all up to me 47 is like I don't feel like doing math like at least this is close and what do one no let's say four nope five I think it's 40 so two oh, whatever it's good enough getting this ranked up I'm actually glad I went with withered armor because oh my goodness this is gonna be a solid Man, if I had um, Horus or something, if 
But I think it still will be even really good on um, KB with that huge, it's going to be what, probably 30% damage reduce when it's all done. Let's say 85 is 3400, so let's try 40, let's see what that gives us. Not enough, so let's do another 12, still not enough, we'll do another 5, one more. We're going through. So we're just kind of making some progress. I don't know why I added two, not one. Um, but we are going through. That was kind of nice that that auto, I forgot. I was I wouldn't even had Withered Armor on KB. I didn't realize that it was going to be that good. Um, I knew it was de pretty decent, but I was kind of bummed that it was a, that it was a shadow affinity or whatever. Um, shadow activation. But let's do 80. I think we did what? I think we did another like 40 or 35 or something like that. Nope. I don't know. We're just guessing here. No, auto would be definitely nice and a feature. Not going to lie. But I hope all of you guys have been having a great weekend. I've been looking forward to this event. I love these events where I could just make tons of progress. Uh, we're just going to put 90 in there. Um, I swear they do different amounts each time. <laughs> but um, love these events. So excited to actually make some big progress pushes. Do clear out my bags. Get relook at my team. What I really am going to be doing, and I'm going to be doing this pretty soon after, is uh, I need to get a faction bonus. I need to see what team I need to get or what I want to what heroes I want to start pursuing to get a faction bonus for my squad. So like I said, 30% reduced damage, 40% HP, going to be perfect on KB um, to, to, and he's going to still be dishing out mad DPS. I can't wait. He's already an E1 and doing pretty good. I can't wait till we get him to an E3. We just need to get some fodder. We need to get a 10 star hero and as many 9 stars. Everyone was like, ah, why do you have um, Bloodblade? Bloodblade actually does pretty solid in certain situations. He, he's um, done quite a good bit of DPS. Uh, but that's just me. Everyone's like, uh, trash him, trash him, get all the, the stuff, get KB. I'm trying, like I said, not to trash heroes unless they're absolute garbage. And I don't think any of my heroes are at that level. So I'm, I'm trying not to just rush. I'm trying to get a collection of, like I said, eventually my goal is to get all the heroes to the max tier. And that's probably going to never happen, but it's still fun to try. So we're going to leave good old Bloodblade there. We've already, we've already canned a lot of other heroes. So with that, let's take a quick look. We already fully completed the Heroic Miracle event. We fully completed the Grey Dwarfs, got all the gear we wanted, got a warrior set. That warrior set led us to put it on KB, which led us to max out our Withered Armor that we just got from the last weekly event. So I'm glad I didn't go with the Cthuga and the Cthuga skin, uh, because I think this Withered Armor is definitely... It would be really nice, too, if it was just a like attack boost here. Or if it just wasn't a shadow limit or limit or shadow activation, jeez, can't speak. Sorry, but yeah. So that is where we're at right now. We're gonna do one more thing actually, and I've been wanting to do it for a while in all most of my videos, and I've been forgetting. So as you know, we have a maxed out um, deer, dragon, and snake, cobra, whatever you want to call it. So I think we are gonna go. I have good bit of resources. I think we're going to come over here and do PvP. We are going to get the wolf. We're going to level him up. Werewolf and whatever you want to call him. So we're just going to go spend a little gold. I don't think I'm going to go below um, uh, 100 or 13, 100, 1300 million, um, whatever, 1.3 billion. Sorry, speaking math, all that. We're, we're not going to go too much past that. I don't want to get... I have a good bit of money. I don't want to get too low, though, because I don't know what I'm going to need to be spending uh, on my Hero Awakenings and fodder creation, because the gold, I, you build up a lot of it, but it goes away really quickly, and oh my goodness, it look, that artwork, God, he looks mean. 
It's super cool. I'm really digging it. Oh, so he's already. So we're going to get him up to 120. We're still looking pretty good. Going through a lot of, lot of millions. Max level. That is an awesome looking cat. So let's go upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. That's max. We might gonna, we might be able to max. Technically, if I spent all the money, we probably can max out one more, just for fun. Just because I'm a completionist, and obviously, so not a complete waste. Um, when I go to start like leveling and some of the other monsters, I'll probably never use. Um, then it might be a waste. Whoa, as you can see, the money is just draining out. Um, so we actually are going to chill right there. We, we went, now we have four monsters. And we, I might actually start experimenting um, using different monsters in different situations. Um, PvE more, more so. These are more PvE heroes. Or excuse me, monsters in my opinion. I've seen deer used in PvP. Um, in the right situations. We got more of my PvP heroes here. Or, I keep calling heroes. Monsters, 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 monsters. And then we got the Griffin um, over here. So that will probably be the next one. We'll probably do Gri Griffin, Fox, and then I really don't want to, but if I just have tons of resources and don't care, we'll then do uh, the White Walker over here and then the Golem. But that is it. Right now we are going to go and despair you guys. I have almost 85, I have 8,500 4 star shards, about 5,500 3 stars. We are going to go through and I'm going to clear that out. I'm going to make as many 5 stars uh, or 6 star fodder as we can. I'm just going to, I usually call this the cooking section. We're going to cook up some, some good fodder. Um, but I'm going to just skip to the good part. I'll show you what um, we could take a quick look if you want to see what my bags uh, or my heroes look like. I'll go through that quickly. So decent bit. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. We went from eight five stars. Just, uh, we won't even look at all the five stars. We're getting some fodder here. We got some more bod copies, which is good. We got uh, no fodder here yet. Um, we got fodder, we got a little bit of fodder, got a little bit of fodder, and then mm, a little bit, and a little bit. So we're going to see how much more we can get, so don't go anywhere, it's going to be a quick switch. Alrighty, and we're back. To recap, we fully completed the Heroic Miracle event, Grey Dwarf's Blessing, uh, we also went through and leveled up and maxed out a wolf. So now if I could find him, there he is right there. Now we are going to, when I was gone, I went through and spent all of my basically hero shards except light and dark heroes. Um, well, I'm actually even going to go forward and do that. I'll show you why in a second. Um, went through, I think, eight, almost 9,000 four star and like 6,000 three star. So we made tons of and tons and tons of heroes so just let's take a look at the monthly event monthly fusion so we had over 25 stars th more we made three nine stars that's a little alluding to what we'll, we'll, I'll be showing you in a second and six six stars so going through let's take a look at my bags we have let's break it down faction by faction we got bod to nine star and as you can see we have a little bit left over um, and I think he is the one that I'm going to try to get to 10 star. Also have a, a Shia level or 9 star, excuse me. So went through, was able to get rid of a lot of fortress fodder that was clogging up bag space. So we have her at 9 star right now as well. Was able to get Karam to 9 star. And I as well have a ton of fodder left over. Um, to get him to 10 star if I wanted, but we're gonna we're gonna see um, how that goes, and then we're really close. Um, we're kind of at our limit. I uh, will probably just use uh, Vesa as a as a typical nine star. So I'm thinking I might be able to squeeze out a 10 star Bod and maybe even a 10 star Karum. So I think. 
I think I'm trying to decide where to spend my profit orbs so I could spend them uh, don't want to spend them on forest nothing I really want nothing I re additional really I want from abyss and I, I've been putting a lot into abyss so I think I'm gonna take it a little bit easy I don't really want to spend on fortress because I just got done telling you guys how it was probably one of the least um, effective to go I might try to just put a little bit in to get um, to get up and get a 10 star bod and then we might actually go back to abyss just because I might be able to get another 10 star so we'll see so two 10 stars um, would not be too shabby um, I only only can actually make one of them to start so we'll see let's go through and and run some shadow and and see what we get we kinda just are looking for some fodder we're fodder farming we're gonna go ahead and do 80 we're gonna just start it off with a big 10 and no five stars it's not what I like to see there's one alrighty there we go there's a double so let's go let's do let's see we might be able to Oh, and what's this? I didn't realize I didn't summon all that. Oh, we got two extra there. Go through, we'll summon good old that one. Aiden, Lutz, you're next. Got a good bit. We're just going to go ahead and summon all of them. I don't feel like having them in my bags. It's just I finally cleaned them out, so we'll make some. We're just going to, that's the reason I went when went with Shadow. We're going to do fodder farming. We're going to see what we can get. So let's go back. Creation circle. Let's go with... Uh, I think I have a bunch of those. So let's go with this guy. One, two, three, one. Boom, boom, boom. So that's one additional five star. Let's see if can we get two. Nope. We're missing... Uh, missing good old three star heroes. So really... We could do replacement. So let's see. To get a th that, we need to do one, two, three. So really, we just need an additional bod. We could do some replacements for him. That works. We'll do that. We'll do that. So as long as I have one of those, uh, I think it's Nightmare Knight. Oh, look. Ooh. Some five-star heroes. We we'll might as well summon them. Eh, we'll start saving them. We'll start saving them. Um, let's go. I keep saying um, sorry. Um, um is me thinking. That's like me thinking out loud. If you guys didn't under or didn't realize that, I say that word so much, and I try not to say it. It's my it's my thinking my thinking word. My buy me some time um, word. As I just say it in that mid sentence. So let's go. And what was I doing? I was looking. I think I was gonna do some swaps. So replace hero, we'll do Glenn. What are you going to give us, Glenn? I don't want you. I don't want you. I wouldn't mind it, a Horus either. For a, a Lutz, let's actually save this. Because I might be able to do a six star with Lutz. Here, of course I can't, because I need Gabago or whatever. Alrighty. So let's go back. Let's just do another another summon, another few on this. Maybe do one or two more. That's one. Alrighty. Let's do a replacement now. Let's go with you. Come on. We don't need you. We, we're looking for either a um, bod. I don't need another Lutz. Uh, Horus we'd take, obviously. And you are doing no work for me, Bone Carver. You're getting replaced. Let's do Grumpy Corpse. Oh my goodness. Is We are literally getting everything but what we need. Everything but. You know what? It's making me mad. I just need one or two heroes. They're not even that good. I just need one of two. You know what? I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad, wasting all these, Urgh. what can I do, yes, yes, shut up, 
making me testy now. All I want is a bod or a gabago. Ugh. Okay. Come on. We are literally getting everything but what I need. I just... That, that should be enough. Even though I didn't get them, that should be enough right there. Man, we are struggling with shadow here. Alrighty, so with that being said, go through. Heck, we better have a 10 star after this. Basically spent who knows how much resources just trying to get a 10 star. Alrighty, go through, summon, 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 summon. Watch, I'm going to be one, okay, five. I was about to be like, I know I just got rid of a bunch of them for a different five star. And we got, we're good there. We'll go through one here. Alrighty, creation circle. Yes, we want you. We'll do this so we could get the LUTs. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Man, tons of nightmare night. Um, wait, what? One, two, three, four, whatever. Alrighty, so now, after all that, just to get a boom, 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 that's done. So here, we finally should be able to get our 10 star now, which will be good. Go through here, claim, claim some stuff, good, 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 hero, go and get an abod to 10 star, always Fun. There, 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 there. We're gonna use a good old. Definitely don't want to use Heart Watcher. Good old Vesa. Awaken. Ten star bod. Let's go. Don't care about any of that. You're gonna be used as fodder. So now for the fun part, or almost for the fun part. Did I have a ten star bod? I don't remember. Hopefully not ever. I don't think. Nope. Nope. It actually looks pretty cool. So we're going to now. But instead of keeping you guys waiting, boom, 10 star, we are going to go forward and get an E3KB um, once I, again, figure out how to awaken. There we go. I always forget that. So we're going to use good old Karm. Then we got KB copy. Boom. Enabled to E2. Lightning bolt over. Get E3 as well, bod in the house, then 1500, boom, let's go. I hope you guys are all as hype as I am for the King Barton E3. So we're going through, and I did a little bit of thinking. When I first, when I first was making um, the actual video, I had to cut it out because I went on like a 25 minute uh, like side rabbit hole where I started talking about all different random stuff so I had to I looked at that and I'm like oh man little too much information so we're gonna go back I was trying to decide what uh, abilities um, or really skills that I wanted to have so I don't really want shared fate I did a little bit of testing and I really think that keeping him alive uh, longer keeping KB alive longer will help him do more damage than getting that little bit of self attack bonus I still I don't really know if I want to do shelter um, crit damage received uh, I, I think it's just we're gonna do lethal fight back and um, mightiness I might switch out mightiness for vitality um, but I think this is what we're gonna rock right now so going through I did a little bit of testing and I was wondering why I wasn't seeing as much DPS uh, out of KB as I was kind of hope anticipating seeing upwards of 9, 10, 15 million that the other people's um, KBs would do. But a big factor is I do not have my uh, hero tech even close to maxed out. There's still so much HP, attack, um, and all that still left on the table. We're getting close, but I'd say we're about less than halfway, maybe a little more than halfway, because we have these two, the expensive ones, almost maxed out. But still, the speed, 
uh, and other stats are really low. So we still have a lot of work to do, and KB is just going to keep getting stronger as we go forward. So I am super pumped. We have him in my squad. We'll do a quick um, arena battle just to see. He's not going to be kick butt uh, as much. Um, so let's see. Who do we want to face? Um, how about the Hoofmeister? That's a funny name. His team looks pretty pretty solid. Let's take a let's take a swing at it. So that's what we're rocking. Swapped out the um, blood blade. So let's see how it goes. We're at two point almost at two point eight million um, might. So let's see how it goes. Or the CC is so strong from Valentino. We're silenced. Oh, there we go, KB. Throw the hammer. Hammer time. And looks like we made pretty short work. He's just going to town. Just oh, interesting. That's a wolf. I haven't seen that in a PvP squad in a very long time. Uh, probably for good reason. But let's see. Let's see how I did. All right. And I was just just making that short little swap. I don't know when I was doing the, it before, and I did like 20 battles and was just rambling on. He was only doing like five maybe six million but this is that this is what i like to see the third basically 12 13 million dps and that's just going to get even stronger as we go on so that is super hype taking a quick look we got all these e3s a full line really what's next i don't know what i want to do so we're going to do a little bit of thinking uh, on that whether i want to do an asmo or a shia or bell rain or do some PvP focus. Uh, I really need to look at my squad and try to get a faction bonus. So we're gonna look through that and see what we could do and which one we want, which heroes we want to pursue. Because as you can see, I also have enough for two um, heroes. So definitely gonna be uh, probably going to be a lighter dark hero. Um, don't know which one yet. Maybe do some Asmo and get try to get a E3 Asmo. Um, go pretty good with my crit squad with the dragon or bell rain for healer to replace replace cruise to maybe get a rainbow squad I don't know we got a lot of things to think about but we do have some more profit orbs But I'm gonna finish up the profit orbs and maybe some other uh, fun stuff like the tower of oblivion uh, Push and maybe some campaign progress in the next video I wasn't gonna do two parts to this one, but there's just so much to be done so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All that hype for an E3. We did tons of summons. We completed so much of this event except the Profit Orb portion, which we are going to complete next time. So Ian Parallax here, and remember, it's all about how you look at things.